हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माय सेशन ऑन कॉफी विद प्रब एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू रैंडम वेयर अ न्यू बर्ज वर्ड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड अकीरा रिसेंटली दिस वायरस दिस रैंडम वेयर हैज अ लॉट ऑफ बर्ज वर्ड इन इन इंडिया एंड सर्टेन गाइडलाइंस आल्सो वाज इंट्रोड्यूस इन द मंथ ऑफ मे फॉर द अकीरा सो आई थॉट लेट मी मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दैट इफ यू सी अकीरा इज अ जापानीज वर्ड व्हिच हैज अ वेरिएशन अ मीनिंग ऑफ द अकीरा इज कॉल्ड एज अ ब्राइट okay uh, it is also called sunlight it is also called intelligence i repeat again the the word origin from uh, from the from the bright sunlight and intelligence now question is what is the origin actually people say that okay they basically recollect the scene of 1980s when they basically hack any system or they to the in they encrypt the system their disclaimer is just like a green screen console i will show you in the next slide and uh, the possibility they have taken the namesake if i take an example of this namesake of akira from the popular film which is called 1988 anime film animation film of the same name okay so it's called 1988 animation film and uh, if you talk about that film uh, there is a story of akira so akira is a story of a gang of teenage bikers rebels they specifically adult hold friends canada and testo who accidentally stumble across a military project that plan to use some kind of a telekinetic human as a weapon and the government captured that uh, tetsuo and he developed the te- telekinetic power that rival those the project and most powerful weapon which is called as akira so we are assuming that okay uh the same functionality akira has been used or this akira ransomware has been used in the today's world so before going to discuss in detail let me have a brief overview about what is akira and all that so when i say akira is a new ransomware which was first discovered in 2023 so if you see this is how hacker basically hack the system and encrypt all the file and they basically post such kind of a message like whatever you and your whatever your title you reading this the mean the intel infrastructure company is fully partially dead well for the now let keep all the tears resentment to ourselves and try to build a constructive dialogue dealing with us you have save lot of due to we have not interested in running your financially we will study in depth your finance bank and all that if you have active cyber insurance let us know we will guide you how to properly use it so they are very good in that <laughs> and paying us to save your time money f and back on track within a 24 hour approximately and our decrypt works properly on any file or a system so you will able to check it by requesting a test description services from the beginning of our conversation so this is how the message they basically uh, the file is created so and i was talking about the green console scene this is how the green console scene we have okay so it is a ransomware which is uh, um evolved during a 2023 but uh, this is the different from akira ransomware that was flagged by microsoft defender in 2017 and uh, this virus in uh, it created a lot of create troubles in the us where they have reported actively target several organization and also expose their sensitive data so initially in the month of march they have targeted us and canada and their victim targets are healthcare equipments education finance so these are some industry category we have which akira has targeted now coming to the point of how they basically hack so they hack the system they encrypt the file they they specifically target the personal data so example like this is basically the network we have so what they do suppose this is my system a and this is my system b so this is in the network 1 and this is the network 2 so what they do actually is <clears throat> so they first hack the system we'll discuss in the next slide how they hack the system and they encrypt the file and then from there they try to hack the further systems and they try to encrypt the files of that system also so they spread lateral across network and seal personal data encrypt and later extract money from the victim and in the case user refused to pay they will they will basically threaten to release the data on the dark web and they did that and people say that akira ransomware is based on the leak source code of conti ransomware what is conti in my i already covered the video on that so you can check in a description box i also shared the video link of conti ransomware i have discussed detail about the conti ransomware so people say that the pattern of this virus is similar to the conti ransomware so when you talking about the key characteristics uh, the first they basically target through phishing email okay 
so these emails are often disguised as a legitimate email from a trusted source such as bank or government agency and this the email will contain the malicious attachment or link uh, when the user click on that it will download the ransomware onto the victim computer second is when user visiting a we malicious website so these websites are often hosted on the compromised server so when victim visit a website the ransomware will download onto the computer and third is basically called as a drive by download these are the downloads that occur automatically without victim knowledge or consent and they can be triggered by visiting a malicious website or clicking on the malicious link and uh, as i said experts has basically found the similarity between the akira and conti ransomware now coming to the process how they hack so first is ransomware gain access to the victim computer through phishing email so if you take a same example we have a user one we have a system two and we have a system three so we have a one we have a two and we have a three now in this case we have attacker so what they do they send an email okay so they send an email so now what happen is user click on that email that is what he did next so that so, so ransomware install itself on the victim computer here and then ransomware begin encrypting a file on victim computer using a strong encryption algorithm they use rsa and aes then the encrypt file are renamed as a dot akira extension actually yes exactly and then ransomware create a ran create a ransom note that contains instruction instruction on how to pay the ransom most of the cases they basically ask through the uh, bitcoin then ransom amount demand by ransomware varies typically in a thousand of dollars so that is there and the attacker typically demand payment in bitcoin or another cryptocurrency because they want to hide their activity and if the ransom is not paid attacker may threaten to release the encrypted files or sell them to third parties now what they do after this ransomware terminate the active window service using a window restart manager api which preventing any interface with the encryption process and it is designed to not encrypt the program data they also not focus on recycle bin boot system and volume information okay so it is also avoiding a modifying the window system file with the extension that is called dot sin dot msl and dot ex so that is the process they follow now the algorithm so as i said ransomware is written in a this ransomware which is called as a uh, akira was written in a golang a programming language which is known for their speed and efficiency actually that's why it take seconds second thing is that it is use rsa and aes encryption algorithm okay so when i say rsa they use a key size of 2048 bit you can imagine and uh, in some pattern they also identify they use chacha 20 encryption algorithm chacha so what is 20 encryption algorithm chacha i have already covered in the conta uh, ransomware and uh, they basically encrypt the data and modify the file name with the appendix file dot akira extension exactly and uh, they also use window restart manager api to close process or shut down the window services that may keeping the file open and preventing the encryption that is there one thing i want to add in the case of rsa rsa is a asymmetric algorithm we always use that for key exchange but here that same process has used to encrypt the key so what happen is ransomware operator dynamically construct the ransomware with the fresh public rsa key for each target okay and the purpose of the unique ID is to facilitate the attacker in determining a specific ransomware build that infected the victim and thereby identifying the corresponding private key required for decrypting a, uh, you know, co compromise file. So for each attack, for each attack pattern, they have a unique key and that is mapped with a unique ID. Is it clear? So that is the point they use. Now, when I'm talking about uh, their uh, pattern of why they use window restart manager, so when we're talking about window restart manager it is a component of microsoft windows operating system okay and that basically provide a way for application to gracefully shut down and restart or recover their process during a system updates or installation or other event that requires system restart so this api is designed to enhance the user experience by minimizing a disruption which is caused by restart and ensuring that this application can save the state and all that so in this case akira use a window restart manager to close the process or shut down and they may also keep some file open to prevent the encryptions so they basically try their own parameters along with that when 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 this ransomware executed it will also delete uh, your windows shadow volume copies 
So when I say window shadow volume copies, it is also called as a shadow copy. It is a feature in Windows operating system that allow user to create point in time snapshots. So the snapshot can be taken at a specific interval and can be used for data recovery purpose. So you can imagine in this case, if, if they basically delete and all that, you can't recover any kind of a data. So that is basically the history behind the algorithm. Now question is, what is the countermeasure? Okay. So countermeasure is basically, see, I don't want to pen down all the major point, but two things are there. One security awareness training. Okay. No matter you have a great solutions in place. If user click on the link, it can bring the entire organization trouble. So security awareness training is required in which we need to guide people on about how to identify malicious website, how to check email authenticity and all that because that is how you can able to change the behavior because there is no patch for human stupidity and human is always a weakest link in the organization. And second, most important thing, all the critical accounts should be configured with two factor authentication. Third, whatever the critical servers we have or sensitive server we have, we can keep in a different network, whatever the publicly exposed servers we have, we can keep in a different network. So segmentation is very important. Even you creating and credentials, make sure you have a principle of least privilege. Okay, make sure one user should not have all the features. So segment your network to isolate critical system from less critical one. Use some kind of a XDR EDR to analyze the behavior, patterns and everything. And on a regular basis, make sure test your backups. And backup should be in a different location. Because in the case of ransomware successful attack, the only solution we have is backup. So this is all from my side. Do let me know how do you find my ransomware series and shall I made more videos on ransomware sessions. Thank you so much and if you're new to the channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic good day bye